let's find out what Josie needs. I'd like Earlier in the programme, I joined Singing Medicine, a group of vocal coaches from the choir ex cathedra on their rounds here at Birmingham Children's Hospital. Many of the children here have to face the prospect of days, weeks, even months in hospital, and singing is something they really look forward to. For nine months, 13-year-old Tally Lee was on the children's cancer ward. She had acute lymphoblastic leukaemia. Sadly, Tally died last November, but with the help of her mum and singing medicine, she's left an important legacy. We'd always sung in the church choir, so singing was probably her favourite thing to do. So when you heard of singing medicine at the hospital, you knew it was something she'd really enjoy? It was very good escape. If she was too poorly, they'd just come and sing to her or check she was all right and say hello and sing two random songs to her. Not only did Tally sing songs, she also had a talent for writing them. It's good to smile when life makes you sad. When she was well enough for us to actually have a proper singing medicine session with her, we asked her if she would teach us some of her songs as well as us teaching her some of our songs. And that's how it, it came about that she was teaching us this wonderful song. And they were chatting to her and they said that they were going to record a CD, but they wanted children's input into it. So, ever the wanting to be involved in everything child that she was, she told, taught them her song. If we made a mistake, she was straight on it. And although she could hear the harmony parts in her head, she, she wasn't able to write them down, so we came up with some harmony ideas yeah. and um, ran them by her, and then she would choose what she thought was going to work. So, yeah, she was very, very clever in that respect. Turn your sad face upside down Life should never get you down Turn your sad face upside down Think of happy things Picnics It's quite exciting really because she always wanted to be known for doing things well. So now she has a song that she wrote to inspire people and to make them happy and it's on a CD. And actually it's one of her dreams. One of her dreams has come true that way because hopefully when people hear it, they will smile. She always smiled, she made the best of everything and she encouraged poorly children around her to do the same thing as well, helped them have nose tubes put in and would always had time to make sure people were happy. Even nurses, we like happy nurses. <laughs> and Jane, how is your faith? It's difficult at the moment. You kind of need to blame somebody, but I can't. There's no that I can't blame God. Um, I can't blame anybody, really. I just have to think about Tally and think about her faith and think about how positive she was. And I'll get there. I'll get my faith that she had. I'll get the faith that she had back. May the Lord bless us. Shine his light upon us And may the Lord lift us Turn his face towards us Give us his peace Give us
the Lord lift you Turn his face toward you Give you his peace Give you his peace Go now in peace Go Well, that's it for this week. Next week, it's Palm Sunday, and John Craven puts on his walking shoes to join the Archbishop of York, John Sentamu, on his six-month-long pilgrimage around God's own country, Yorkshire. Now, though, our final hymn encourages us all to sing. Songs of Praise is earlier next week at 4.40. Pointless Celebrities Parrot for a Naughty's special next on BBC One.